Welcome to Eric Blackman Music. Hi, and welcome to chord tutorial number 217. Today we'll be discussing funk R&B chord shapes. The guitar is tuned standard, E-A-D-G-B-E, -E, and we're going to be starting here at the fifth fret. We're going to start with a simple A minor chord formed this way. We're going to hold down the G, the B, and the high E string and simply strum those strings so we get that bright minor sound. Now that is a simple minor chord and everything's going to be based on that. We're going to add one more note to that and get an A minor 7 simply by putting our finger on the D string, G string, B string, and high E string. Now we're playing four strings. We can add a ninth to the chord by just going to the high E string at the seventh fret and playing it this way. That way we get A minor ninth and we can get a nice bright one like that. Now if we want to play a ninth chord and we're going to change the key to D ninth, we simply take this finger back to the minor shape and then add a finger on the D string at the fourth fret and we're going to get this. That's D ninth. Now, if we want to add a little bit of bass to our chord, we're going to go here to the 5th fret again, grab our minor 7th, bring our thumb across the top, and play this. Now, this is an A note, so we can leave that note open if we want. If we want to move that chord up, we have to mute that note, mute the A string. But if we're staying here at the 5th fret, we can play A minor 7 that way. We can play a low pitched A minor 7 by putting our fingers in like that and bringing this finger on top and that mutes out the high E and we get that. And that's a nice movable chord. So we get a deeper sound out of that chord. Now if we want to get an A minor 9th that has some depth we do this and then we add a finger at the seventh fret on the high E string and we have that. That's A minor 9. Now if we take this finger, move it up to the B string seventh fret, we now have A minor 6. Now, if we want some complementary chords in this position, we can go here, bar everything there, bring in the middle finger to the 6th fret on the B string and the ring finger to the 7th fret on the D string, and we get D minor 7. That's strummed from the A string. So that's going to give us something to add to our existing chord. So we have A minor 7, D minor 7, and we can move that up to E minor 7, simply by raising it a whole step. Now, if we want to go back here and add a major 7 chord to the mix, we just do this. That's D major 7. So I'm barring the 5th fret, bringing in the ring finger, to the D string, 7th fret, the middle finger, to the G string, 6th fret, and the pinky to the B string, 7th fret, strumming from the A string. And when I move up to my E minor 7, I've got a nice addition there, so I've got... We can make an alternate A minor 7 by using 
the core we had at first and then throwing in the eighth fret on the B string and get this. So we have our A minor 7 and we have our A minor 6 and we can do that. And that gives us a nice cool funk sound. Well alright, that's about it for this chord tutorial. Thanks for stopping by and have a great day.